this is a beef hot pot with a nice sort of potato topping. We've got uh, spar, stewing meat, got carrots, parsnips, onions, celery, got some beef stock, some good old fashioned brown sauce, which will flavour it and it will also give it a nice richness. Some tomato puree, a bit of salt and some spots, those are going to finish the whole thing off. A bit of a tablespoonful of oil. Once you see vapour coming off it and put your hand over it's pretty hot. What we do is just uh, add the meat into the pan. Yeah, separate it out so it's not top of each other, have it on the on the surface. So what we're looking to do here again is to caramelise the meat, caramelise the natural sugars. So what we're looking for is that kind of colour there, where it's just you know the meat's really sealed off well. While I'm waiting for that to cook on that side, we're just going to chop up my vegetables. Nice big chunks. Again, what we don't want to do is have like wee tiny bits because they'll just disintegrate into the sauce. So just try and keep them roughly the same size. Meat now, what I'm going to do is take everything, all the juices, all the meat, just put it onto a plate, just set it aside. What I want to do now is cook the vegetables off. Get them all in. I'm not going to put any salt in at this stage because we've got stock coming in. I'm really only sealing this off. Once we've done that, then what we'll do is tomato puree goes in. Get that nice. And just give that a good cook out. And what we're going to do is add our uh, beef stock. quite a lot of liquid but once you once you cook everything down it'll it'll all take up and we're not going to thicken this it's just going to naturally thicken brown sauce in there add the meat add all the juices back into the pan good stir around with that I'm going to just cook this on top of the on top of the stove let it bubble away but you could put it into a casserole dish you cook it slowly um, or you could put it into a slow cooker so the, the beef's ready, um, so what we're going to do is just take it out and put it into the sweet dish here. What I'm going to do now is just uh, put some potatoes to bother peeling them, just, uh, just nice and thinly slice them. slice it and then arrange them, sort of overlap them on the top of this. What happens then is all the lovely juices will come up and, and take um, come up where this, it, the spots will be cooked from underneath that on top. Yeah, a lovely crispy top on it. And then what we just want to do here now is just to take a wee bit of a small amount of oil. Oil could use melted butter, but oil is good. Brush that on top. Tiny sprinkle on the sea salt. And then I'm going to just take and cover that with tin foil. And what I want to do now is just put that back into the oven and just bake that until the spuds are soft. It's going to take about 15 minutes. Lift the other bit off, lift it off after 15 minutes and just let them brown. Okay, so the hot pot's been in the oven for about 20 minutes now and then I've taken the top off just to give it a wee bit of a crisp on top. So there we are. That's the beef hot pot with the crispy potato topping.